You two are looking at the man who's taking David's sister on a date tonight. Oh, buddy. Thank you. Good job. You are looking at the girl who got him who's officially taking out tonight. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna go get some Thai food, and then we're gonna head to the observatory. I got a blanket and some sparkling cider stash out there from a date I got stood up on like, last mm -hmm. month. Whoa, what? But I can, I can picture it now. I'm looking good, button knuckled, and she's looking as fine as a ticket on the dash in the new, uh-huh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right, buddy. You know, nice. Gavin, in my opinion, you probably shouldn't wear your birthday suit to this date if you're trying to impress her. Nah, that's probably not a good idea. Mm -hmm. You don't have <laughs> to be clothed to impress a lady, you know what I'm saying? But I know the deal, Bex, dress up to dress down. Oh yeah, that's, that's sort of like when you're dressing down in a locker room and everybody's looking at you like, like I guess she told you wearing a towel, but he's not. And you just whip around his thing away like everywhere and everybody's just seeing it, you know? Helicopter, yeah, Jake, that's, that's, not, that's not the best thing. Yeah, that's the worst. What? Well, I actually have a good idea. You should go to the mall and get a new outfit for your date tonight. You should do that. That's she would idea. totally appreciate that's that. That's a good idea. That sounds, that sounds good. I'll drive. Let's go. Sounds good. So, uh, you guys have any plans? Yeah. First, we're going to have to get Thai food yeah. and then to the observatory to look at the stars. Wait. How romantic would it be if you put out, like, a blanket? Oh. And he had, like, I don't know, sparkling ciders? Yes. Way better than having to watch David over there, having another one of his um, nightmares. Stay away from me. The monster. Those world rare pops are my friends. If you want to eat them, you have to go through me first. Ah, my legs, no, not my legs. Dude, what's wrong? Hey, I've had a nightmare in like a week, and besides, yeah, all that stuff would be romantic if you did that, but it's probably just to get in your pants and to see you guys naked together. That could work. Yeah. Hey! Go away, I'm busy right now. Metro. Metro's totally in right now, bro. Look at this sweater I just got. What? Look how sexy I will look in this, bro. Look at that. Dude, that looks like foreskin. No, no, what? no. Jake's right. Metro is all in the rage right now. And I would love to dress something nice and casual. Like some khakis or a nice polo. Hey, yeah, actually, Jake helped me pick this one out right here. I totally did. Yeah. Look at, look at his eyes. Oh, I know. Stop. Amazing. Oh, but hey guys, before we go, can we stop by Bath and Body Works? I heard they're finally having another sale on their butternut squash facial cream. I mean, I don't really care. Is like, that cool? Why not? Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, there's no good sales. I'm not going to find anything cute here. <laughs> yeah, I think you should maybe just become like a nun or something. I mean, their outfits are fashionable, and you don't have to worry about random guys hitting on you who walk around the house in their underwear. All right. All right, Alec. Do not listen to David, all right? He just doesn't want Gavin to become part of the family. Okay, coming to the mall with you guys was a mistake. <laughs> First of all, the mistake was going on a date with yeah. a guy who has nicknames for his penis. Whoa. All right, give Gavin some credit, all right? Some of those were pretty classic. The boomerang, the rocky, the weapon of ass destruction. Oh, ovarian barbarian. That one, so good, it rhymes. No, no, it's not good. Who thinks it's a good idea to nickname their penis? Yeah. Like, who thinks that's a good idea or something? Like, who does Girls that? like it. You, hey. girls. Dude, look at her. She, she, she likes goldfish and... Dude. Dude. Ask her if she has her phone in her back pocket. Why would I do that? Because that birdie's been calling you. <laughs> Gavin used it, all right? Let's just say he left more than a voicemail. All right. Enough smack talking, Gavin. You guys are really trying to make it seem like he's this bad guy. And maybe I just want to find out for myself. And you, go talk to her. And tell her she made your day. And when she asks why, say it was because of her smile. You got it. Um, excuse me? Uh, uh, your phone's been calling me. What? No, oh, I mean, your booty's been calling me. Um, I would s smile too if I was in your back pocket. No, the line goes, is your phone in your back pocket because that booty's been calling me. Classic, right? You don't know 
Gavin, do you? Nope, I don't know a Gavin. But hey, my name's Chelsea. Um, I think you're pretty cute. Can I give you my number? Yes, 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 yes you may. Mm. Hey, do you go? Call me or text me sometime. Gangs delicious! Dude, I knew you had it in you. See, not all girls are evil. I don't know, I mean, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I mean, last time Gavin stabbed me in the back. Yeah, like, it was around the same time Gavin stabbed Cassie from the back. Enough! Oh my god, I'm dropping you two off. I have a lot of things I need to do <sighs> before my date. Oh, what's up, guys? What's up, what's up David? Jake? Marcus? What's up? Hey. Hey, hey, Alec. Yo, Gavin's almost ready for your date tonight, except he's gotta shave his, uh... The face. Shave my face. But for real, I'm super excited. I am too, it should be a lot of fun. But, uh, hey, I got some things to do, so could you take these buffoons out of here? Yeah, no problems. <laughs> I mean, I'm all the way back to the house anyway, so let's chill. Okay. I'll pick you up around six. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. Whoa. All right, see you then. Bye. Well, anyways, guys, David got his chick's number today. No Whoa. way. Nice. Yo, buddy. Are you, David? Are you going to call her? I don't know. I'm interested, but it might be too soon. Man, whatever you got to do to get Gavin banging your sister off your mind. Don't worry, I need protection, bro. Cool. Let's head out. Sorry about all the blood stains and used condoms in the backseat. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Well, I think obviously you are worried about it because you pushed me out of the way. Well, you know, Becky, it's survival of the face. That's okay. all you get. Well, it hurt, so. Hey, that's Sorry. Kind of Sorry about the hurtness. Oh, uh, man, you guys are back already? Yeah. You decided to start a film my whole movie, yeah? Right? You know, I was wondering why someone so beautiful hangs out with these kids. Thanks. Well, the other day lived to my floor last year, so I was hanging out with them. They're actually a really good group of guys. Yeah, well, if you ever want to get away from their boring lives, come hang out with me and have a real college experience. Let me see your phone. Okay. Wait, what are you doing tonight? Uh, I think I'm going to keep it a surprise. I think you'll like it, though, so... Text me if you want to come over to my place. Okay. My place? Your own place? Yeah. Then why always come and reach up our food then? Save me money. Oh. Hit me up though if you want to hang out. Alright. Well, we'll see you later, man. See you, buddy. I'll the door each on the way out. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. So, Keith, what's up? about Zach? Zach, surprisingly little. Yeah. I don't even know how he got into a friend group. Yeah, I don't know. I think we got him with like bad karma or something. I don't know. Makes sense. Yeah. You should, uh, you should still go over there though. It doesn't seem like that bad of a guy. Yeah, just make sure you get your own power rate though, because you know what happened last time. Good advice. I might. I mean, I have a lot of homework this weekend, so I guess we'll just see. All right, well, see you guys later. Right, see you. Bye. Good luck. Have fun tonight. Thanks. Bye. Hey. Oh, what's up, man? Yo, what up? What up? It's hey, good, man. Yo, look at this. I think Zach and uh, Becca might go on a date tonight. Yeah. Right. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. No. She was no, talking you're... about it. Yeah, she Dude, was like, she's like, that's like, like a worse idea than when you and Gavin did that Gallon challenge. Oh. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was true. Yeah. remember. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> that was disgusting. No pansies. Oh, my God. Look at Gavin. He's losing it. Oh, my God. Dude. Dude. You haven't done any work on yours. I'm almost done. Look, dude. I'm pregnant. Oh, yeah. Wow, how far along is he? Nine months? Dude, shut up, let's finish this. Yeah, pussy. I can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> well, I hope she doesn't do anything she's gonna regret. For sure, dude. I don't think so. That gets so much of a goody goody. Wow, man. I just realized if Zach and Becca get together, that means I'll be the only one in this house without a love interest. Even David, and he uses us as his practice woman. <laughs> I just wanted you to have this. You're so beautiful and amazing, like a unicorn. You're so majestic, mysterious, and one of a kind. I just want you to have this rose, and I'd be honored if you could go on a date with me. I treat you like a true gentleman. Oh, David, I would love to go out with you. You're feeling it? Yeah, I totally was. I actually felt sexier than Channing Tatum when he doesn't have a shirt and he has a he has like a six pack and like his bars are barely showing. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, a little too specific, dude. Oh, was it? I mean, I'm just trying to say, you know, David has his girl. Chelsea. Yeah. And then Gavin also has his. Alec. Right. And then you've always had your lady. Like, you guys were always dating, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. 
<laughs> Speak of the devil, dude. Desire. She's calling me right now. Oh you call your girl the devil? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jake, you mind giving me a David quick minute, man? No problem. I'm actually just about to finish season two of New Girl. I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, Nick and Jess are finally getting together. <laughs> you watch a New Girl? <laughs> yeah. Gay. Well, now I'm just going to leave because you said that. And uh, I'm going to go strap my stuff. On the way out. On the way out. On the way out. On the way out. That's what you're gonna do. All right, have yeah. fun. Yeah. David. Hey, David. I know it's been kind of awkward between us, man, because I'm taking your sister out and stuff, but, and also because I swooped in and took Cassie to Pound Town. I mean, honestly, I had no idea you were into her, and if I did have any clue, I would have. I wouldn't have touched her, dude. I mean, I just think you guys think I'm a bad dude, and I'm really not. I'm just. I'm a good guy. I just think I'm misunderstood. I appreciate that, Gavin. Just, just don't hurt her. I have a very particular set of skills. Skills that I've acquired over my short 20 years. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you don't hurt her, that'll be a good start. I will not resent you. I will not hate you. But if you hurt her, I will find you. I will hunt you. And I will kill you. Oh, jeez. You really mean that, don't you? All right, Liam Neeson. Just because I respect Qui-Gon Jinn so much, I, I vow to refrain from sticking my lightsaber in your system. Too much information, dude. I will, man, but for real, David, you saved me. I was going to put that glow-in-the-dark condom on, and I was going to whip my lightsaber around and make him... Dude, just go. Just go. It's, it's almost already five. I will. Hey, when I get back, you want to watch The Phantom Menace? To tell my story, you went and listening, yet you're the only one for me. Yet it's clear as day and night. Sometimes it takes a second sight. So let's go to the beginning, girl. I bet you won't remember all the times how night after night I was the one to get down for ya. Now I hear my your happiness around for ya. No risk, no reward for you. I fight with the sword. I play music to your ears if I knew how to strum a chord. But here we are again, but here we are again. Arguing about your man when I should be him. It's the same old story since the beginning. Matter of fact, I'm the only one here since the beginning, girl. Take a picture, baby. Learn a lesson. The best things in life are those that are pressing. I've been here for a minute, but I ain't complain. I've been here for a minute, but I ain't complain. It doesn't matter how long I gotta go. Most guys will steer away. Most guys will clear the way through your tears to show you they'll always be there for you. I cross my heart to see that you always push me. Always be on time. Where the rain shine. I wonder why you stay choosing him When he's the whole reason why your life is grim All tears, no smile It's been like this for a while I've been here to pick up the pieces Yet you're still in denial And here we are again And here we are again I'm steady fighting for your love But you won't let me in It's like what does a man gotta do I'm there for you I care for you Red roses on Valentine's for you It's the beginning of something more special Take a chance and see what it unveils I've been here for a minute, but I ain't complain. I've been here for a minute, but I ain't complain. I guess what I'm trying to say is the fact that most guys will steer away. Most guys will clear the way through your tears to show you the lowest be there for you. No one will love you, no prove it the way. I may not always be on time. I may not always be on time. I may not always be there for you. Thank you.